Go. Oh, right. I was going to get into discussion about this movie already. Oh, uh, hello. Welcome to Just Another Horror Podcast. I'm John. I'm Ben. <sighs> you just sounded so non-enthusiastic. <clears throat> Take two. Do you enjoy doing this show? I do. Then put a little heart behind it. All right. Hi! Welcome to Just Another Horror Podcast. I'm John. I'm Ben. Cobra. That's better. All right. I'll just save that and use it every week. I can't believe you haven't done that yet. Good point. <laughs> uh, we're doing the cold. No, that means I'm going to be last every week. You're last every week all the Sometimes. time. Sometimes. Most of the time. Well, maybe I'll go what first What I should do episode. is get us... Maybe we should paper rock scissors. We should take... <laughs> I, I, should, I should find a clip of us saying something ridiculous, each one of us, and then we'll have our names, and I'll just put it in like an intro. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Who has said the most ridiculous things? Probably Cobra. Yeah. Oh, well... I just talk about... It. Sexual things a lot. In the, now, some of your stories that you've shared. I've experienced a lot of crazy stories <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. I might go back and do that, and that would make my life a whole lot easier. Uh, th- today we're doing 1984's The Cold, or The Game, not starring... Who was in The Game? Michael Douglas? Yes, Michael mm-hmm. Douglas. Not starring him. Not now, star- why did we... We decided, since they put shitty movies out... At the beginning of the year, we would do three shitty movies. I had never saw this movie. I had never heard of it. I had read... I was looking at a bunch of movies that were just bad, and I read about this director. He had a bunch of bad movies. The giant spider invasion. (laughs) So... Gets a new phone and he didn't even shut off the... I chose this one. (laughs) Jesus. Uh, I had never never heard of this movie, but this director, I have seen a movie that he did. I just called Invasion from Inner Earth. Oh, okay. And I, it was, was in it one of those, movie? like, 50 movie box sets that you get. Isn't that what this was on? I don't know. Yeah, on YouTube. a lot of people were saying that yeah. on, online that this was in a big box set. But um, there were some really funny lines in this movie. <laughs> oh, my God, there were. <laughs> this movie, though, like... Oh, it's ridiculously acted. On you can. It sounds like somebody is... Eating potato chips the whole time. There's this crunch noise in the audio. It's oh, yeah, it's horrible, but it is kind of funny. It's pretty simple premise. Three millionaires. Billionaires. Oh, they're billionaires. Um, they set up a game. In, in a mansion, old. they say, but it looks like a hotel. There's exit signs. Oh, it's a yeah. It's a hotel for sure. The yeah. only thing I could find on like trivia wise for this movie was that place burnt down. In 1984? Is it 80? No, no. it's 1990. <laughs> right after the right filming. I mean, it was like 10 years later. I think I want to say like 1995 or something. And that was the only thing I could find. But I guess it's a resort. And Horace, Maude, and George are the three rich billionaires. It's one woman and two guys. Did you like the Dr. Seuss narration at the beginning? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just, yeah. It's this guy that just keeps rhyming, like talking like Dr. Seuss from the Grinch Stole, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's that's, really crazy. It's also how the movie goes out, too, where he's rhyming. I don't know who won the game. That goofy music. But somebody that, has fame. Is that familiar to you? <laughs> that what? Do you recognize the goofy music in this movie? Like the jalopy music? Uh, it's the sting. Is it the sting? Yeah. Okay. A lot of people were comparing it to the sting. I thought it sounded like Hellgate when they go to that bar. <laughs> oh, the Western music that's yeah, played very, throughout? Yeah, like Western piano score yeah. that you would see in old Westerns. Which is odd and out of place in this movie. It doesn't very. make a lot of sense. It's, is it only when the billionaires are on screen? Mm-hmm. And they're yeah, they're they dance going around. Dance through the hallway, yeah. And just, <laughs> like the Western getaway music and stuff. It's like, what the fuck is going on? So they invite nine people, I guess. I have it written down nine, so. Uh, to participate in this game, to win a million dollars. This game is... The, the rules are very loose. I, well, the, you have to stay the whole night? The three billionaires talk about how they've got, like, records of these people, so they're. I think they're supposed to bring out their deepest fears, and if they can overcome that and That's stay the, the night. Was. That is what the idea is. It is not executed <laughs> at all because the budget on this movie is probably like $15,000. I don't, I couldn't find a budget. Um, they couldn't either. So after they're plotting or they're coming up with the game, we get this really quick cut to a dance club. 
Can you plug the Hooters? What? Sure. And we danced. Okay. With a lot of cameras zooming in on chests. chests. <laughs> and then, like, the, the old man. shirt just falls the fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get to see a boo completely, though. It's terrible. I, yeah. We do later. They're old men dancing with prostitutes is what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, they're, like, grabbing asses, these old <laughs> oh, yeah. people. It's like, well, at least everyone's having a good time. I thought this was found footage. Or stock footage. And then I realized, no, the people dancing are going there to be in movie, this game. Because yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure what oh, this what It this says there's nine thing. of them. Yeah. And there might be, but I didn't get nine names. I, I didn't get any. I'm glad you did. I had uh, mustache. Uh, we, that's what I was calling We go them. over this that I watched the hardest out of anybody. Yeah, yeah. I was calling them, like, mustache. And yeah, that's what I had. The one looks like Blanche from the Golden Girls. The one who gets popular uh, most. Yeah. Uh... So that's how I have my names written out, or just descriptions. What? You look but like you're about to say something. I know, I was like, like waiting for what him. What is it? No, well, John. Then, I got John. So after the dance... He's a guy. Yep. After the dance uh, party, they sit down with the nine contestants and explain the game to them. But yep. then I also have it's and a the tit shot. Fears. So maybe that was when the, the top yeah, fell off. Yeah, I thought there was eight. Girl in bras nip. Oh, that's later. Oh, I also have the quickest edit ever. When they go around to each person's face to get the reaction, <laughs> it is yeah. like smile, frown, it's, make that crown. But it's it's all half second face. I mean, it is just it's so quick. It's so funny. This movie is it? Okay, how are we gonna scale these? Because our three movies were all bad, but like on different three levels. different levels of bad. Yeah. Did we want to go with a negative scale or something like that? One out of ten, like a nine being really bad. Yeah. I wouldn't even go into the negatives with some of these. Some of these were funny. This one was... If I had to choose one to watch again, it would be this one, probably. This does fall into the... It's so bad, it's good. It's not really a horror movie. No. They try to scare you with some props. There's a monster that comes out of a bed? There's a hunchback. (laughs) What the fuck is that? Yeah, there's a hunchback that turns out to be the chauffeur guy. There's a fog machine that apparently... They got Everyone's real. scared There's of this. This actual sound is in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they were ripping off House on Haunted Hill, weren't mm-hmm. they? For some yeah. of this stuff, the skeleton in the closet that was. Oh, was he chuckling his balls? What was he doing? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I have at the dinner party. George explains what survivor means. The last one. I'm like, thank you, <laughs> thank you, George. Then there's a spider that just randomly oh, appears on the they, table. They it's a tarantula, it. and they I, they really killed this tarantula. I think they had a bunch of tarantulas on set, and they're like, we can just dispose them at our will. We got yeah. five of them. They killed these <laughs> spiders. Yeah, they killed the spider, and then the three old people are like, well, the game's going to start. We'll let you know. We're not going to be in touch with you while the game's going on. Except so, for the entire time. So these nine people are held up in this resort hotel motel whatever you want to call it and the three billionaires are in a secret room watching Watching them them. yeah Yeah. sounds great right so they think that it's gonna start the next morning so these nine people are just hanging out the night before and a woman gets gets frightened by a A, shark fin in the swimming pool pool. yeah she goes swimming would you go swimming eh maybe you're in a hotel i guess if you didn't think the game was gonna start yet if you're in a hotel. You're in this mansion, you mean. <laughs> yeah, so she's afraid of a shark, and they're like, oh, no, no, that's just a prank. Really? There's no shark in the pool? That's a surprise. Do you know what she was doing in the pool? What? The breaststroke. All right. I actually don't know my swimming, so thanks that for that. That might be your first dad joke ever. Just dad jokes. Yeah. That was bad. <laughs> oh, I taught Raina. Stroke. I taught Raina why is six afraid of seven. <laughs> because seven, eight, nine. Oh, but sometimes shit. she likes to add ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the first time she didn't get it, so she's like, why is one afraid of two? Because three, four, five. And I'm like... <laughs> that doesn't work. I'm like, it's a play on words, baby. I'll explain it when you're older. But she's got it down now. <laughs> nice. Mustache is in the pool with two ladies. Again, I thought this was stock footage from a 70s porn. This guy seemed like he was straight out of a porn. Just... Oh, yeah. Someone's a lawyer. The woman. Which one? The one with that awful southern accent? I think so. Yeah, the guy with the mustache. He can't decide which woman he wants. Well, he specifically wants... Shelly. Yeah. Later. 
Oh, I have uh, one of the other characters I have. I just call him Savini because he looked a little bit like Tom Savini. JD is somebody. That's, no, JD's chatting with the Savini-looking motherfucker. That's what I Guy mean. in black. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, vests in this, <laughs> too. Where was this filmed? Probably California. No, Wisconsin. Really? This guy films in Wisconsin. <laughs> the The other movie that I saw from this guy, Invasion from Inner Earth, uh, it takes place in Wisconsin. Oh, man. You couldn't tell by the crazy Midwest accents, the Wisconsin accent. I could not tell. <laughs> I could barely hear anyone talk. Who's this blonde guy? And what That's is he John. What is he doing? He's an undercover cop. He lost is the guy. Is that what he is? He he lost his, out of, I didn't yeah, he him. lost his brother or somebody in there. He's investigating somebody who went missing last year at their game. So he's kind That's of... That's the hunchback that went missing last year. I didn't even get that. Like, but I don't that, understand what was going on there. Yeah, but that he, that's who he's looking... He's looking... He's kind of playing the game, but he's also snooping around everywhere trying to figure out what happened at last year's game because somebody went missing and he's out looking for him. See, they actually had me convinced... I was convinced he was in cahoots because he seemed to know exactly what yeah. was going on. What was going on, on yeah. yeah. But nothing ever came of it. But Not until the end. And then it, it got real weird because he's just like peering at the window at the end and the three people are like all frozen ghosts. And then they... What, what the fuck? Blah. Yeah, we'll get to the end, dude. <laughs> what... Okay. Uh, we actually, they actually filmed a guy standing up, pissing, and flushing a toilet. <laughs> yep. What? I'd rather see that than a jump scare, though. I, I don't know. I think I'll take neither. I'll take a guy <laughs> pissing over a jump scare any day. This is also, oh, a Savini-looking guy was pissing, and then he, is he gonna knock at the door? And he opens it up, and this, this cold gust of wind hits him. Enter, yeah, this is when all the fog the, starts Yeah, then we enter the fog machine. Oh, that's when... more fog. I forgot the, the Savini guy and JD, they have an argument about toughness. The one guy's like, you can't win, you're not tough enough. <laughs> so the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a conversation with two of the girls. One of the lines is, want some pickle? <laughs> mustache and Savini don't like each other. Yeah, that must be where they... They have that little <laughs> argument about toughness. Someone's in the house. There's like this... Little shack house, just not too far away from the mansion hotel, and when people go outside, they can see it, and there is a guy... Who appears to be living upstairs. Yeah, who's living in this thing. At first I thought it was a woman, because I was like, who's the woman looking out the window? And then later in the movie you see... Oh, it's quasi it's like, it's, Yeah. Time. But... I haven't said much during this, have I? you just kind of <laughs> staring off over there. This is also where we get the first uh, shot of the billionaires skipping down the halls with masks on. I, yeah, I think I didn't know what was going on there either. That was really bizarre with the masks where on. Where are they? Is that just where the rooms are? That's where the rooms are. Because or they... Or parts of it anyway. But I thought they were like in the basement. Oh, at some point they do go down to the basement. That's where their little control room is. Yeah, with all the cameras. Mm. Letters. They give out... Le oh, there's... The game has begun. The game has uh, begun. Yeah, they slip they letters, slip letters under under everyone's door. door. Um... This movie's so fucking weird. <laughs> Mustache, he's a smoothie. He's he's chatting up the Blanche. Is that Shelly? I know Shelly's yeah, one Shelley, of the Yeah, that's ones. her name is Shelly. She's the one that I think we see her. He basically says, let's fuck. She's not, she's unsure, and he says, or she says, it's is it not safe? safe. Yeah. And he says, of course it's safe. I had a vasectomy. <laughs> he's a smoothie. But she a, buys it. He like, didn't... Sounds good to me. <laughs> is this where she's naked yet? Is that no? That's in the sauna. Yeah. Where are they at right now? Well, that's where they get stuck in the sauna, in her... isn't it? Oh, he came into her room. Mm. Mustache he... guy was in solitary confinement. He just busted into her room. Basically, got really rapey. There's an arcade in the mansion. Where is that? The game room. Yeah. That's what, is that where Savini goes? Didn't Savini get a ho he got hooded? Didn't he? He went walking, following the fog, <laughs> and somebody snuck out of the uh, a room down the hall put a hood over him and pulled him in yeah and I don't he's know the first one that goes missing see him yeah <laughs> it started with nine this there's a tv talking to somebody it cuts on yeah we get the in the movie his other movie invasion the giant spider invasion right no the invasion the other from one. inner earth we get this alien invasion but they talk through like a radio or a television so that reminded me of this he must like that well later on that the giant spider invasions on the TV when the girl's falling asleep, isn't it? I think. 
Oh god. That's have you ever seen that? It's a. I have. It's a mystery science theater three thousand. That's where I saw it. Yeah. I actually want to watch that episode now. Can we do each pick an episode from that and cover it? From Mystery Science Theater. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. We'll be watching a Godzilla it. movie then. I'm going to do Pod People from 83. So, wait a minute. We're going to review <laughs> so, somebody reviewing uh-huh. a movie. There's nothing wrong with that, is it? I don't know. It's think... never been done, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're innovators. Sweet. <laughs> I have written down a funhouse scene. Igor's wandering around still. Wait, he never does anything. Like, he just looks creepily at them. Yeah, but at the end, he's something. I know, he's somebody else, but at one point, he's got a pane of glass that he broke, and he took a piece of it, and he just keeps whacking it against this <laughs> side of the house. Always shots with exit sign, people dancing. Somebody grabs a gun and heads towards the cabin. That mustache was yelling at Shelly after they had sex, and I'm not sure why he was yelling at her. But he had some really... Yeah, and then they get locked in there, and they yeah. find holes in the door. That I guess lock the door whenever. Oh, I have clever bastards written down because yep, he says it. that line six times when he's inve- <laughs> he's when the door when they get the door open, he's wondering how it locked. From These the people have the easiest route to a million dollars I've ever seen in my life. Just stay in your room. Yeah. yeah. Or well, do whatever you want. I guess it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. These props are gonna come at you. Just ignore them. Yeah, you know you're in a game. Why yeah. would? But immediately well, when someone they... goes missing, they're like. This isn't part of the game. Why? That one girl is Why like, is they, it not part of the game? They find that that handkerchief. Well, they uh, and they're like, he never goes anywhere without <laughs> that handkerchief. Well, they they do see on the television footage of a one guy of them, being hung. One right? of the guys something. hanging. Mm. The Savini looking guy, I think. It's grainy and so black they start, and white, and they're like, it looks real to me. Well, they yeah. <laughs> they start uh, wondering. It's part of the game. No, it's not. I think they start thinking though that people are actually getting killed. But, but you know, it's part of a game. Yeah, you're in a game. They're not gonna kill you. They're gonna if they do, try to scare you. But That's what if it. they do though? Then you're in trouble. But like, I think they said it's the last person left, and they said you could leave if you were too scared. So I think they expect everybody to leave. Maybe. Just, like you said, go back to your room and shut the door. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Maybe they really think this. Maybe through. a puppet hand will come out of your bed, bed and puke something on you. <laughs> they started talking about Bahama Mamas. They make drink. you horny. Yeah, they make you horny. And must- I have that in my notes, too. And a mustache tells a story about fragging his lieutenant in Vietnam. <laughs> like, was he talking about how tough he is again? Wait, let me find my Bahama Mama. I think Mama. he's arguing... He argues the most with the, the blonde hair, the undercover cop guy. Yeah, fuck... And I guarantee that's probably what he was doing here. He was... In here I have... There was five people at the bar, and we were already missing four people. I... That's where I have no they, idea. People just disappear really yeah. quick. And we're they're never going to be heard from again. But we're down to five people now. And John found a loaded gun. And a noose with blood stains on it. Once the little alien creature come vomiting out of the bed. That's why. That's a little <laughs> late. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, John, through the day, that's this night. Through the day, John is, like, investigating. And he goes over into that little cabin thing. And he finds a gun. And the noose with blood on it. So yes, they're like, "This is real. I can't prove it." Yeah, I can't prove it. <laughs> but it's real. Shelley is the worst actress. <laughs> yeah. She has the most lines though. Because some of the other women, they they disappear like really quick or have. Okay, this three is lines when. Total. Yeah, this is when she's on her. There's a spider on their dresser. They keep panning to. Means nothing. Nothing at all. Yep. I think it's just one of the props. Well, I think they wanted really. you to show. Because then it looks like something's coming. Oh, that's the alien thing. The alien, out of bed. yeah, that's the alien thing. Yeah, is why about was the to come spider there? Bed. I have no idea. But it is a hand puppet. Yeah, and it starts throwing things up on her. And no idea. Is that her biggest fear? Yeah. <laughs> they look because they had that dossier of everybody, and they look at hers, and it says hand puppets coming up from the bed. <laughs> Mustache guy grabs Shelly. Where's he does? Where does he grab her? I don't know, Trump. He trumps her. Here I have John's motives are unclear at this point. <laughs> he's sneaking around the house, but then you find out he's that cop. See, I didn't know why, like, I didn't they were trying to tell cop. us that because he was sneaking around, he was in on it. I don't understand that. Like, why would he be sneaking around if he was in on it? There had to be something else going on. Maybe we're the stupid ones for not picking up on that. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure they just, every day they'd come down, forget what they wrote, and write another page yeah. of the script. So, someone ends up going to a pool. 
And they all put of a sudden, python. A python, yeah, a python in a swimming pool. I just have pythons are not poisonous. No, <laughs> not at all. But it still freaked the shit out of you if you were in the pool. <laughs> My next line right after that is a girl gets ethered on her bed by the old people. And oh, see, this is where weird. this is where yeah. it gets real weird mm-hmm. because they said that they're not going to be interfering interfering with the game, and all of a sudden they've ethered this girl, and they're going to start playing. Russian roulette oh, with yeah, her. That, that was Shelly they ethered, and then they, yeah, mock execution her. Yeah, they have, <laughs> uh, it's a six and they have gun, the, five two, bullets in it, right? And they basically no, have one bullet. One bullet. I don't think there's any bullets. They have one they bullet in there. They showed a bullet, yeah. But I don't know, that's probably not real. But they have masks on that look like something out of a Scooby-Doo episode. That's what it kind of was. Yeah. Like, them yeah. running around the hallways, yeah. goofy music playing. <laughs> It's a Scooby-Doo mystery. <laughs> so they don't shoot her. They walk out of the room, and then they hear a bullet go off. And they're like, that was a gunshot. But what? Who and then they that? start singing that Seven Dwarfs song. Yeah. What is it? Hi-ho? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's but the they... one. But my question is, like, who shot Shelly? They claim Shelly shot herself. She, she, she killed was so herself. Scared. She was so scared. She After was Russian so roulette. scared of being shot, she shot herself. That's the ultimate fear. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So if her big fear was hand puppets, or was her big fear a mock execution? <laughs> Shelly was afraid of everything from what Apparently. I gathered from this movie, except the mustache. The girl who, uh, another girl goes swimming. She gets attacked by the snake in the pool. Yeah, she just starts screaming. It shows the snake on the other side of the pool, and then she just starts screaming, and then it cuts, doesn't it? Yeah, that was before the girl gets ethered. Mm. Um, Yeah, Mustache finds Shelly shot in the head. And then the survivors, I don't know how many, is there three now? I think. John's still sneaking around in my latest notes. And I don't know who the other one is. But they go and confront the old people. I still have a whole fucking page in notes. Oh, um, Mustache goes downstairs with a gun. Goes running in and he's like, "You guys killed my girl. I'm gonna murder you." And yeah, mustache pulls a gun on the old people. Is there another snake in the pool? No. I have two snakes in pools. Trouser snake? No. The lady. I have lady spirit leaves her body. Oh, that is fucking weird. I don't and even that's that. when she gets attacked. In the... Okay, they show the snake in the pool. Yeah. And then we go to this lady who falls asleep, but then her spirit leaves her body, it's and she so goes to the pool, weird. and then all of a sudden she's swimming with the snake now. Oh, man. That's why Snake is in there twice. I forgot that lady. That camera she left. was so funny. Her body... I don't know. Now, at this point, what is going on? I don't know. Is she... Know. Go? Is this rest stop? All over again. <laughs> ghost killing other ghosts, yeah. Rest stop. Ooh. Someone should have picked that for a rewatch for bad movies. I don't know which what's worse. Open the door. There. There's a skeleton in the closet. Oh, right. Yeah, Jug- that's juggling pre- his head, I think. Was or balls. I thought I it was know. balls. He was... <laughs> they. I know the old people say something about... Um, this is my favorite joke in the movie when the old lady's like saying something and the guy's like, Frigid, I've lived with you for 40 years. And she's like, speaking of cold, I've seen you below the belt. And he's like, hey, the little things matter. Yeah, little things <laughs> matter. I have that. No, the my favorite line in this is mustache talking, and he's talking about how cold it is. Small wiener joke. And he says he for, does he say it's cold enough to freeze your dick off? And then he looks what? at the, he looks at Shelly and says something about oh it's cold enough to freeze your tit off or something like that. It's really bad. <laughs> okay, well I got to get back to where we are here. Okay. Before any of that stuff we just talked about happens, John tells. The remaining chick that there's a person missing, he comes out, he says he's a cop, this is not a game, this is real, someone went missing here last year at this game. This is where they go confront the yeah. old people. Mustache man, he finds Shelly's dead body, and then there's more fog that people are scared of and they're running from. <laughs> the three billionaires, they cut to them, they're down in the camera room and they're talking about playing more tricks on these people. They love it. It's fun to play tricks on these people. So again, you're like... They don't seem like they're killing people? Yeah, so I don't know what that Russian roulette thing was all about. I don't know what that girl leaving her body thing was all about. I don't know what the snake in the pool was about. Well, the old people, when they're confronted, they tell them that this has all been a joke and those people who they think they saw dead are at a hotel across town. Let him out of there. 
Baby. Yeah, that's when um, that's when um, the three billionaires are talking about the small wiener. Yeah, and then, but when Mustache pulls the gun and he shoots one of the old men. Yeah. This is where before we get there though, there's they find Shelley's like body gone and there's a blood trail and that's when John goes in there and he goes, oh I found blood, but I, there's no way I can prove that it's real blood. Well, you might be able to. Maybe not today, but give your team a week or two. They might be able to prove if it's a real blood, John. You idiot. <laughs> they head to the boiler room. Yep. And John tells everybody that the phones are dead. Everyone's tires are flat. Yep. Who? Yep. <laughs> okay, so who did this? The three old people? No, I think the hunchback did Was it the hunchback? Yeah, That's I what think I so. think. The hunchback is like their... <clears throat> Because he comes out and confronts them. In here in a few minutes, oh, right? No, 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 wait. We're... I'm a, I'm a... Oh, John and the mustache man get into a fight. This is the most fantastic thing ever. It the is. Chase scene? It's like a beast. It's Beastie Boys sabotage video, <laughs> running st- like chase style. John, yeah. Mustache <laughs> man punches John, steals his gun, and heads off to. I don't know it's where. It's not the the cabin right by that we've been talking about where Igor lives. They were running over he a mountain. Runs through, yeah, he runs <laughs> up the side of a mountain for three minutes while <laughs> John the cop is chasing after him. And he ends up in what, you know what it looks like? I, I have, it's got like, it's not a classroom, is it? Or is it like a little it, diner? It's something. Mustache gets up on the roof of this building while John... Has a, he has a shotgun. John has a shotgun. Jimmy He's blowing horn, holes in the care. windows with yeah. his shotgun. Just... But when Mustache jumps off the top of the roof and jumps down on John. And then we get a fist fight. Yeah, I have, Mustache. Oh my god, this fist fight. Nobody's landing anything. <laughs> but Mustache, I think, did his own stunts. Oh, oh <laughs> that, means a lot. that was a great <laughs> jump off the roof. This is where we have Felix Kramer hired that John. Hunch, that's the hunchback. To go in. What? Who's the hunchback? I don't know. I thought hunchback. I think Felix Kramer is maybe the hunchback's dad or brother. Oh, they had yeah, him yeah, investigate relative. the missing guy from last year who was the hunchback. So the hunchback, after they're fighting, and then the hunchback comes out and confronts them and starts pulling off like his wig, and he's not really a hunchback. And we find yeah. out he was the missing guy from last year. Yep. Why is he still there? Do we get that he's, explanation? I think he's part of the game now. He's helping them out. I don't know. I, th- I thought he was working with the billionaires. Maybe he's just hiding out in that cabin and the billionaires have no idea he's out there. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on in this movie. I love that he explains it's a game and I'm like, they're shooting real bullets at each other. No, he didn't get shot. That's what I have. Yeah, it's no, all but there's shotguns. There's blasting. only like three people left. There's blasting. Shotguns blasting holes in the side of yeah, walls. Yeah, all these people who disappeared throughout the movie don't come back at the end. They're just gone. No, they leave. They take... They claim that they're at a hotel. And yeah, they take the three Hunchback survi- takes the three survivors to the hotel where you're going to meet with the rest of the people. and We don't actually see them meet. They, I don't think they're there because John the detective goes back at the end and he's like, they're not there at the hotel. But then you get this weird thing that the fog starts That's chasing, chasing the, the three old... billionaire. Or the yeah. two now because... No, no, he's, he's alive. still alive. He yeah, got even shot. Though he bled like all over his shirt. He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, oh there is a freaking what? monster. That's the that box comes cover. Out. Yeah. What is that? It's literally only seen for one second at a, the very end of the movie. It. I think it's a um, rip off of the old lady in House on Haunted Hill, the original House on Haunted Hill that comes up behind and she's. Oh my god. I think that's what. Why it was. is this called the cold? Because the fog in the movie. There's know. nothing cold That's about this. That's why the game is more ap- apropos. Well, it is. Yeah. They claim that when the fog hits them, you get really cold. <laughs> okay. Thing? Well, when the one guy opened this door, and he's like, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> so then we get a shot of the old three people in the sauna. Well, first they're running us, through right? the hallway. They're running through the halls away dancing. from the fog. They're dancing With Western as they're music? running. Yeah. Yeah, and then they, they barricade themselves in the sauna. But the fog gets through. And then there's the narrator talking. He's like, I don't look, know what happened in this game. Well, they look like they're... Fr- <laughs> they, <laughs> look like they're <laughs> they look like they're frozen. And then, they, and then the narrator comes on. Well, and there's has, also the, the hunchback guy drops those guys off, and they're like, don't ever go back. 
I think that's what he says to him. He winds the window up in the guy's hands. And then, yeah, he does. He's like, he's <laughs> literally, he's like, Wah. Oh, man. And then, but John goes back at the very end. Yeah. And he's peering through the window, and he can see the sauna people, I think, somehow. Yeah. And, and they look like, like they're dead. Then they start Then they start smiling, smiling and, and like, ha-ha. Are they still playing jokes on I nobody? Know. And what happened? And who won? And then that oh, ghost is in the uh, window. The shower window. Yeah. That's it. What? What was that? <laughs> Bill Rebane, that's the director's name. What was that? I have no idea. That's like, you know how sometimes we say they cobble together scripts? This is like ripped out pages of like 15 scripts. This makes me think we could make, could make a whole, if we rented a hotel for one night, we could make this movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We could make a cardboard hand puppet. <laughs> it wouldn't be that hard. If we had two thousand dollars, we could make a better movie than that. <laughs> uh, not in today's world. I think we could. Yeah, we probably could. I mean, because all we need is this camera alone on the phone. Is we'd go. We listen Absolutely. to get our first movie out there. We'd go cheap and we'd do paper bag jump scares. We just do it really loud in the camera <laughs> and have somebody. <laughs> and then we have five of those in ten minutes. You're in. Then we just have shit the rest of the movie and then a jump scare at the end and that's. Well, let's start with a. 10 minutes short and we'll go from there all right this is your movie cobra so on your weird scale on my weird this? scale of 10 in badness this movie is an eight and a half on the badness um the audio is just wretched in it yeah you can't understand the dialogue's terrible the acting's terrible but it's kind of fun to watch and uh, out of the three movies we watched, I would watch this one again before I'd watch the other two. But it's not really a horror movie. There's funny parts to it, and there's a few, like, proppy hand puppets and noose effects and some woman leaving her body in a snake in a pool. <laughs> yeah. That happened. On a real scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it, like, a 4 because it's so bad it's good, but it's not really very good at all. It's not, like, Troll 2 caliber good at all. But it's fun to see old people just dancing down the hallway to Western music for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Um, on the badness scale, I gave it probably like a seven. It was goofy and confusing. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of what things go into making a movie bad. Uh, script? Oh, the writing was bad. Oh, my goodness. And some of the jokes were so dumb, but they were funny. <laughs> dumb, you know? Uh, the effects were really bad there weren't many effects though that's the thing there was the ghost effect which was clearly a cloth on a shower <laughs> line and yeah it was on a real scale i'd give it a three i didn't like it but it was fun so yeah and bad scale i would uh, give it an eight out of ten it is it's horribly poorly acted the sound was really bad and i don't think it was youtube that made the sound bad <laughs> like i think it's just no that paper that, like it did sound like potato chips at one point it was like <laughs> um it, I, the writing is it it there's some things that really just don't make sense i don't understand why the hunchback was there if he was in the game the year before why are you still there why are you dressed like a hunchback like a lot of that stuff just doesn't make sense at all um, the end really doesn't make sense. I have no idea what the old people are dead, and then all of a sudden they wake up smiling. Don't the, they all get paid too? Uh, they split the winning. They say they're gonna split. They're gonna give like, them like three million though, well, or something, right? Yeah, they, they split like, the million amongst the three survivors. They I thought they said, said they were going to. They're like, well, what the hell with it? Why don't you give them five million, million or something? <laughs> Your mod was like, just give them that. You've got all that money. Because billionaires don't like to part with their money. But they want a better tax break. I had to. Leave oh, your chopsticks. <laughs> in your review. So, oh, that's where it belongs. <laughs> snuck Good. it in there. So, uh, the, this really is, it's, that, that term gets thrown around a lot. It's so bad it's good. But I really feel this one is. Um, some of the lines were really funny. The chase scene is over the top funny. It's great. Um, this is the second movie I've seen by this director, Bill Rabine. Rab and now I kind of do want to watch the giant spider invasion. <laughs> I bet awesome. the spiders look. <laughs> well, they're probably close ups of giant Because tra- apparently this guy can get his hands on tarantulas, so I bet it's like real close ups of these giant spiders. Oh, look up some clips. It's ridiculous. So, uh, on a regular scale, I'd probably. 
uh, I'd give it a four out of five. I mean, there's nothing great about it. It's just if you like bad movies, go ahead and give this one a shot. I think Hellgate was slightly above this. Yes. It's I close, like but I, I think like Hellgate, Hellgate was better. Yeah. I think you would like Hellgate. I need to watch that. That's the one that I watched the wrong Hellgate, right? <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one year and two months ago, you participated in the wrong Hellgate. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah. That's it for this episode. I got nothing in the email because... The we, holidays. Every, every show we... Uh, get rid of more and more small groups of fans by insulting them, such as today we insulted the billionaires. Ben, thanks for that. We lost uh, them now. If you want to get a hold of us, facebook.com backslash horrorcasting, horrorcastings at gmail.com, and we're on Twitter at horrorcasting. And we're going to be putting up a... Thrill me!